Hey guys, this is Molly here, and if you want to see how to do this tutorial for eye makeup, face makeup, and lips, everything, then just keep watching. This is just um, a really simple, natural, <laughs> everyday summer makeup. I always do such natural things. Um, this is what I've been wearing literally every day. Um, nowadays is summer. Um, so if you want to see how I do my makeup, then you keep on watching, and I will teach you. So I started out by applying a moisturizer, and I used Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil-Free Lotion. Oh no, yeah, this camera doesn't focus up close, but here it is, I got it in my birch box. And what I'm going to apply now is my favorite, favorite, favorite face thing, which is the um, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the oil-free one, and my color is Bisque. This stuff is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to put about this much on my face, and I'm going to go ahead and um, cut because something's weird and I'll put it back on once it's on. Okay, so I just put that on all over my face, just with my fingers. I feel like that's the best way to put it on. So what you want to do next is preference. I prefer my eyebrows. I've actually started filling them in a little bit nowadays. And what I use is either the, um, the Smashbox palette thing that I got for free for being a VIB, like the Sephora member thing. And it just has um, like brow wax and eyeshadow. And what I also use sometimes is just this dark brown color in this palette um, just use whatever whatever you feel is a good brown color so basically what I do is I take a little bit of the wax with this is just some random brush so I'll take a little bit and then just fill my eyebrows in or put them into place and then take some of the dark brown and just um, put a little bit in. Okay. Very simple. Um, my eyebrows aren't completely perfect. I need to get them done, but whatever. And then I just, I go over it with my fingers because that blends it in. If there's too much eyeshadow, then like makes everything balanced. Next, let's do eyeshadow. I don't use an eyeshadow primer because for my eyes, um, light colors on my eyelids look funny. And when I put the primer on, sometimes there's a little bit of like that light colored primer on my eyes and it just looks weird and I feel like it's okay if your eyeshadow wears off a little bit during the day so um, nowadays I've just been using mulch eyeshadow by MAC which is just a nice brown color and I take a fluffy brush and just put it all over my eyelid and in my crease, the crease of my eye is the camera still in focus? okay yeah and then um, nice and simple just like this Following this, I will use some stuff for underneath my eyes. Um, first, I'm going to use a little bit of the Neutrogena Brightening eye, Under Eye Perfector thing. Um, I'll twist it up. Two times is always enough. And, and put a little bit underneath my eyes. And then um, blend it. This is almost like a primer for any under eye concealer and if it's a light makeup day because actually during the summer I don't wear very much makeup, I usually don't wear any at all unless I'm going like out somewhere, I'll just wear this but then over it if I want extra covering then um so I just dot it underneath my eyes and I make sure that I get a little bit in this part too because that's important I was taught not to put concealer back out here because it, um, it'll crease and stuff. So you're supposed to let your concealer set in for a moment and then pat it in like this. And also, um, for concealing, the main points would be the outer corners of your eyes, the inner corners of your eyes, around your nose, and the corners of your mouth because those turn to be like the dark spots that cast shadows and the concealer can lighten it up just like so and then for concealing areas I don't use concealer I use blemish therapy powder which doesn't really cover it up it just does the slightest bit and helps it get better and I just like the fact that yeah I guess it conceals it enough like it's it's what I feel is necessary so I'm just gonna go ahead and anything on my face that I feel like covering I'm just gonna put it wherever so next I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I feel this is a very important step and I really just realized that it probably doesn't look like I'm wearing a shirt and I am. A shirt. There's my shirt. Okay. 
So now that we've resolved this problem, sorry, I keep looking up at my mirror. Okay, so now that we know that I'm wearing a shirt, let's continue. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with my Shu Uemara eyelash curler, which I really like. So you start at the base and you hold it down for a few seconds like this. Then you let go and you go a little bit up and then you do it again. And then you get the tips of your eyelashes and you do it again. And that just gets everything. And then I go over with my fingers. I only just realized recently how like important curling your eyelashes is. How much of it. So for whatever reason, I prefer to put um, powder on before mascara. And the two that I switch off between are the MAC Skincare Blend or whatever and the MAC Burner Light Skin Finish. I feel like the MAC Burner Light Skin Finish is the slightest bit lighter. Sorry about my phone. So um, I prefer for today to use this. So I'm just going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to dust it around this area. I don't like to put it on your cheeks because you can get like keep that dewiness in your cheek area. On my nose, gently down the middle, and on the sides. I don't want to cover up, you know, all of the... You don't want it to be too matte, that's what I'm saying. So, um, <sighs> there you go with that. And I will apply a little bit of blush, just a little bit. I'm going to use NARS Orgasm. I'm just going to dot it on and smile. <laughs> and next we mascara. I'm not, sometimes I'll use eyeliner, sometimes I won't. Sometimes I might take a little bit of the eyeshadow and put it underneath my eye. It just depends on what I'm feeling. Today, not really. So, also, usually I use my DR mascara. I'll use the primer and then the DR show. But it's a little bit harder to get off, and it looks amazing, though. But since it's just a regular summer day, I'm going to use my Fairy Drops mascara. And just apply that on. Hey, guys. So, I applied my mascara. Next, you could either apply a lip balm or a lipstick, just a creamy, natural pink color. Right now, I'm going to use... Uh, my Burt's Bees Pink Blossom Tinted Lip Conditioner. It's a really pretty pink. And next, I'll just apply a little bit of my L'Oreal Bare Natural Lip Conditioner. And that is my look. Um, see? Um, here's the look. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. And I appreciate your views. Any um, other stuff you want to see, just let me know. And I love you all. Bye.